Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening. This is your simple Saturday workout. And yeah, get ready. I know I've been saying, oh my gosh, it's so humid in Florida. And now it's like, holy mackerel, was it cold in Florida? <laughs> uh, yeah, it was uh, 41 degrees at my house this morning when I woke up <clears throat> an hour and a half ago or so. Burr, that's cold for April in my opinion. But we're getting through it. We're gonna work it out. Work it out. Work it out. Work it out. We're gonna work it out. We're gonna work it out. All right. Um. Yeah, good chilly morning. That's right, Lisa. Good morning. So we're gonna start pretty quickly here. Oh, it's that time already, actually. So I actually changed things up from what I posted last night because, quite honestly, I didn't make the workout till this morning. Um. So we're gonna need optional stability ball. Optional. Um. Uh, whatever this is called, slam ball. And most exercises, I believe, can be done. Yes. Actually, all exercises can be done with a band if you decide you want to use a band. <clears throat> a round band is going to be optional for working our quads at one point. And weights we can use for everything. All right. So let's get situated. Clear off your floor. Make sure you've got space. Out of the way and it doesn't roll away on me. <clears throat> Today is going to be fast, 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 fast. We got 13 things to get through twice. So that means it's going to be a 26 minute workout. So, hey, Kimmy, hi there. So, um, we're cutting through this, but they are simple movements. Again, it's simple Saturday, so let's rock it. <clears throat> Start with our warm up. Basic warm up. Got light on your go. Yep. Arms up. Whew. I did a workout yesterday and my muscles are killing me today. It was only cardio. All right, knees up. Hold on, knees up and hold on. Lift those knees, turn that torso. Get things warmed up. <clears throat> Pull back. Pull back. Shoulder height. Kick those heels to the rear. And pull down, pull down. Here we go. All right, now plant those feet. <clears throat> We're going to do a big sweep. Just sweep it up and down. Just get the back warmed up a little bit more. Back to those uh, legs, the hamstrings, the glutes. All right, take it wide. Bend those knees. Side. Side. Keep that butt low. Keep those knees bent as far as you can for you. Start reaching. Again, if your reach is here, fine. Just reach. I want you to get a twist in there. Hold it over on the left. Turn into it. Let those hips go up and down slowly. Take that left hand up to the sky and hold it up. Look at it. Bring it down, press that elbow down, and up again, and bring it down, good, turn it back, hands on those thighs this time, get low, side to side, press the shoulder this time, we're pressing the shoulder each time, you can go any pace you need to go, hold it on the right. Turn into it. Let those hips go up and down slowly. And let's take that arm up. Look at it. And bring it back down. Press that elbow down. Up again. And down. Good. Let's bring those feet closer together. Grab wherever you can. Or not even grab. You just want to bend and straighten. Whatever level is good for you. If you don't straighten all the way up, not a problem at all. All right, this time, keep your hips up in the air. Roll up. Ooh, give it a little bit of a shrug. Take a leg jog. All right. Leg jog. And now bring higher knees. Pump those arms again. You can march, you 
you don't have to take those, you don't have to make it a run, just make sure you got good hot knees and pulling those arms each time. Go boys, press, high knees, here we go. All right, let's pause. We're gonna do a ball slam without the ball, right here. Add that hop if you got it. Good, hold it down. Battle ropes. Good. And take it back into a jog. Are we ready? Let's do pullbacks right here. Good. Jog it out. Good. We are going to get started. We got 26 minutes of work, which is one of our longer workouts. So I'm going to make sure we have time. Why can't I get this to work? And we want our Okay. It's going to be 45 seconds of work, 15 seconds of rest on everything that we do, other than the cardio. We are going to have a little cardio burst in between. And on those, it's going to vary depending on what the cardio is. So first one is going to be a side lunge. You can use a weight if you want to, but you are going to do a side lunge, one leg only. You're going to take it down and up. So what I want you to think about is that butt's pushing back. All right? My chest stays proud. My back stays flat. If you're holding a weight, it's right here. All right? If you want to use a band, it's around that foot. The front foot, okay? Here we go, 45 seconds of work, 15 seconds of rest. After that, we're going right to the other side and then we'll do some cardio. Here we go, we got music playing. Everybody, everybody. And we got 45 seconds on the clock.
chest fly. If you want to use a ball, you use a ball, okay? You don't have to. It's going to be one arm only. Go as heavy as you can. If you are using the ball, it'll look like this. If you're on the floor, it'll look just the same, but you're lying on the floor, okay? If you are doing on the ball, make sure your head is resting. We are doing a one arm chest fly. You're going to bring it out, hand up. That core has to keep tight. If you're on the ball, those hips are up. You got tabletop position. If you are on the ground, you can also do that. Just press your hips up. <sighs> right here. Press those hips up. However, you do not have to. You can put them down. But I want you to go heavy. It's one arm only. It's 45 seconds and you're done. You move to the next arm, okay? So, get ready. Here we go. 45 seconds. Hop, hop. Around both ah, feet. 
All right. Same thing right here. It just gives more resistance. That's all we're doing. One leg, you're just standing there. So you gotta use your core. I suggest try to do this without holding on to anything. If you truly have to, do it. But otherwise, I want you to really think about this core, think about this leg being strong and holding yourself up. You gotta do this for 45 seconds, and then you get 15 seconds of rest. Are we ready?
Coming in five, four, three, two, one, here we go. Woo! Go, 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 go. You're on the floor. Keep going. I'll tell you when to switch. Are we ready? Starting with that slam ball. In. Alright, we're doing the other side. This is the last time we're going through all this. 
So, full energy into this. Four, three, two, one, go. Remember, if you hold the weight, it's right here. If you got a band, it's around that strong foot, that bending foot, bending leg. Chest is up. Push that butt back. Go, go, go. You got this, you got this. Ten seconds. Woo! Three, two, one. All right, we got that knee smash. Got that knee smash. Starting in ten seconds. Good song. Here we go. Push! You gotta pull up! 
30 seconds. Here we go. Three, two, one, go. Slowly, 
Bring those feet together however is comfortable for you. We're going to stretch the front of that leg. We did a lot of quads. So you have a couple of options. I'm going to start from this side. So um, bend that leg up behind you. If you have a chair or a wall you can hold on to, that's fine. You're going to bring one, hand, one foot into your hand. Again, you can hold it from the heel. You can put it on a chair behind you. Okay, whatever is comfortable for you. And what I want you to think about right now is point that knee to the ground. Point it to the ground and just hold it there, pointing it to the ground. You don't pull your foot, no pulling on the foot. Push that knee to the ground. Like you're stretching it down to the ground. You should be feeling a stretch up the front of that leg into the hip flexor, which is where your leg and your uh, body attach. You should feel it even in there. So press that knee down. Breathe. Good, now bring that same foot to the front. Cross that ankle over that standing leg and sit down into it. Again, if you need to sit in a chair, hold onto a wall, feel free. Give a little pressure to that outer knee. Keep breathing. Good, now bring it up, standing position. We're gonna do the other leg. Bending that leg up behind you. Grab on wherever is comfortable. This leg for me, I can't bend all the way, so I just grab it through from my shoe heel. And I'm going to still press that knee down. I'm pointing it down. I still feel the stretch just the same, and I'm not pulling on my foot at all. I'm just holding it. Press that knee down. Breathe. Keep breathing. Press that knee down. And release. Bring that foot around to the front. That ankle crosses on that standing knee. And sit down into it. Get a little pressure on that knee that's up and bent. Get a little deeper stretch into that glute, hip area. Keep breathing. And release that. All right. We're going to take my right hand, left wrist up and I'm going to pull over. Uh, get it stretched on the side of that body, a little bit into those lats, definitely through the armpit, through the tricep, which is the back of the arm. Uh, keep breathing, bring it back up straight, switch up and lean over, get a little pull, keep that shoulder back so you can see forward, keep breathing. And back up to center, drop those arms, stagger that step, big deep inhale right here. Relax those shoulders as you exhale, bring those arms down. Let's do one more of those, big deep inhale. Exhale, relax those shoulders. All right, hopefully your heart rate is pretty much back to normal. And hope you got a good workout, work that whole body. I know I did. And. Uh, Hope you have a fantastic Saturday if this is your Saturday. Otherwise, whatever day this is for you, I hope you have a fantastic rest of the day and uh, stay safe, keep your distance, but send love out to everybody. Thanks for coming, guys. Bye.